What's up guys? So this is gonna be a bunch of different thrifting clips and then me talking over it, going over the value and stuff like that, just like it has been for the past couple weeks. Uh, but I think this is the best one yet because as you saw in the thumbnail and the title, we filled our cart with these awesome finds. And then later on in the video, I got this grail that I actually like an hour ago for me right now, I just listed that and it completely shocked me. Um, I definitely was not expecting that to be worth so much. So yeah, stay tuned for that. And then a bunch of different bread and butter items mixed in. So I appreciate you guys being here and enjoy the video. To start it off, we have this Wilton cake pan and randomly these can do really well. You want to stick towards the big names like I picked up a couple Pikachu ones and those do well. This is a Batman one. Never seen this one, but I saw it was marked for 1964. I looked it up and yeah, that's like two bucks into 30 bucks free shipping. And these are usually light enough to go first class. Right down the row on the clothing rack, I saw this right on the end. This Cabela's, what is it called? Like Dry Plus. Yeah, Dry Plus jacket and I think it was marked at seven dollars and I've never seen one of these but the comps look really good on this and this one looks even higher than the regular dry plus this is like the waiting model um with those big pockets in the front and yeah one just like that sold in January for 60 bucks plus shipping Shaving refills usually do really well when they are for the electric refills. I don't usually go for the disposable ones, but you want to look for the big name brands like Philips, Braun, that kind of stuff. Uh, you usually get these pretty cheap and then they sell really fast for pretty decent money and they're light enough to go first class. So four bucks into 40 free ship. To my knowledge, I think the only CPAP stuff that you can sell on eBay without it getting taken down are these nasal cushions, just because they're the only thing that don't require a prescription. Um, so yeah, you usually find these pretty cheap, and then they sell really fast for decent money. They're kind of like those razor refills. And then I saw this bark control. I didn't notice until I got home that it actually was open. In this video, I was trying to show you that it was still sealed. Um, it looked like someone had tried to open it, but yeah. Still two bucks into like 20 bucks free ship. This is light enough to go first class. And then we stumbled across these. These things were crazy. Um, I've never seen them before. They were just something that I saw where there was a bunch of them, brand new sealed. So I looked them up and to my surprise, they actually sell very often for very good money. So I made the decision to check down one last aisle, which is a coat aisle, which I usually do really well on in this store. It is an LL Bean 850 goose down jacket. And I'm sure you guys know by now, just from watching my thrifting videos, whenever it says goose down, duck down, you need to pick it up. All right, guys, I didn't capture any film actually of this deal at the thrift store um, or me putting them in the cart, that kind of stuff. All I got was that picture that I plan to use for the thumbnail because right after I took that picture, some lady saw me taking a picture, walked over and saw what I was looking at and putting in my cart and she started putting them in her cart as well. So. I was hurrying, but like not trying to look like a psychopath at the same time and put as many in my cart as I could. Luckily, she stopped after a couple. She only got two. So there was 23 of them total. We snagged 21 of them. And uh, yeah, let me show you these. Just to show you, we have 21 of them at $1.50 total. That leaves us at $31.50. And then the other stuff that we got that you did see on film. These were something that were just too cool not to look up. And with them all being brand new sealed, that was super like... Um, I guess attractive like that was you know e easy work is what it would be um but yeah these are california creations never heard of them never seen them and they looked vintage um i'm still not sure if they are vintage or not but uh yeah there's what there's like seven of them that have the the picture of what they're supposed to look like after they're painted and then these other ones don't have that but they have like little papers showing like their model number and um, I guess what to color each one is kind of like a color by number, which is awesome. I loved those as a kid. Um, I didn't ever do ceramics, but I did those the coloring books. Let me know if you, you enjoyed those as a kid. Um, but yeah, it turns out that these are still the California creations. I looked some of these up and uh, hopefully while I was talking, which I'm sure I am, um, popping comps up on the screen of all of these. No specific order, but the comps on these look so good. And it seems like they sell, I mean, we're well past Christmas. The majority of this is Christmas themed and they're still selling um, every day. So 
definitely awesome and i'm very glad we paid yeah a dollar 50 piece i already said that so yeah i'm curious what all this stuff totals up to be I found this hand warmer, brand new sealed for two bucks. I scanned it real fast. I like little listings like this. I mean, two bucks into 15 bucks free shipping, go first class. I mean, it takes like two seconds to list this. It's definitely worth, and you probably get like, what, five bucks profit out of it. So I'll take that any day. Tool battery chargers are something that I always look out for, especially when they're name brand. Um, skill is definitely on the lower, but if you find like Craftsman and stuff, those can do well. Uh, this is a nice, like, I think they charge me a dollar for this. Uh, so yeah, like 20 bucks free shipping. These vintage iPods can do super well. Uh, the problem is their batteries are almost always bad, so you want to get them really cheap. Um, this battery I charged overnight and it still said it was low battery. So I just listed it for parts and these sell all day long, 25 bucks free shipping. Once again, with the razor refills for the electric shavers, this was 50 cents and these things sell all day long, 30, 35 bucks free shipping. And they're light enough to go first class. Doesn't get much easier than that. Right next to it was this Phillips shaver. Uh, these things can do really well as well. You just got to clean them up. I take them apart, clean them up real well. And I ended up listing that for, I think, 40 bucks free shipping just because I saw that one sold the other day for that. Once again, another Wilton cake pan. This one is brand new sealed, so I just picked it up without looking it up. It's from 1991, so definitely not as old. But brand new sealed for two bucks. I definitely just snagged that. I listed it for 15 bucks free shipping based on other listings and solds. Um, so we should do pretty well. There's already a watcher on that. And then this was something that Joni found and we were going to buy it, but I ended up going over to where you test stuff and there was a big crack down the side. But I guess be on the lookout for these because they sell pretty well. So for 15 bucks, that would have been a good score. These are something that I've never heard of and based on comps and like what they're used for, I don't know what the heck to think about these, but for five bucks, I just took the chance. Um, there's five of them and I don't see any of these exact models selling, but I've seen other ones that look similar to this selling for like 20 bucks, 25 bucks free shipping. So we will see, uh, they're like, I see other comps that say they clean your dirty electricity and stuff like that. So I have no idea. We'll see if they actually sell, but I just thought that was pretty goofy. And then I had found this vintage Sunbeam Mix Master. Uh, this is the handheld version. If you find the like the stands or uh, I don't even know what you call it, just the big ones that sit on your countertops, those go for even more money. But for four bucks, this was a decent snag. I cleaned it up and I listed it for 20 bucks plus shipping just because that's what other listings were going for. These Singer button holders are usually pretty good. Uh, this model definitely has a lower sell through rate. I see only one sold uh, but it was like an auction or something like that so we will see i listed it for 20 bucks free shipping that's going to go on a padded flat rate so definitely not the greatest flip and then i'm always looking for hdmi cords and av cables here just because they're so cheap instead of buying them online and then this was like the the hidden grail so at the time i had no idea about this i had just taken a chance i saw it was marked for 15 I'm kind of a sucker for these uh, vintage electronics that are brand new sealed, like new old stock stuff like this. So I got it home and actually right before recording this video, uh, me doing this voiceover, I just got done listing that for 250 plus shipping because I saw a comp that sold earlier this month, it almost looks identical to mine. It's just a little bit different. It sold for 300 free shipping. So I was super shocked to see that. I was expecting this to be like $100 plus shipping, something like that. But yeah, that is crazy. Lastly, we have this Vidal Sassoon. I think that's how you would pronounce it. Uh, this is new old stock as well. This is a hot air styling brush and these things sell pretty well. Um, it's like five bucks into 30 bucks plus shipping. I love the variety this store has to offer. It's got like every category you could think of. So I do multiple rounds and I'm just looking through everything. But that's going to do it for us today. I really appreciate you guys for being here. Um, stay tuned. I got some exciting stuff on the way. Uh, just to give you a hint, Jamie and I are traveling. So, and there will be a bunch of sales. So hopefully we have a bunch of footage for that. Um, but yeah, I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much and you have a great day. Bye.